Hey guys, so this is a video update on my animals. Um, I moved my room around so I could fit these cages next to each other. Um, that's the wall that says Alex that my bed was on, but I moved my bed to this wall. The one that my dresser is on, and I put my dresser at the end of my bed. And, did you hear sure cages at the end? Because I wasn't going to put my dresser on that wall. But my dad wouldn't let me, didn't want me to get a off the wall. Which is understandable. So I just put it there, and I took the mirror off my dresser. So those are my hamster cages, and then my desk is still over there. Um, so this is just going to be a quick update. Um, as always, I have Marshmallow, my little protective hamster. She's actually very protective of me, which is kind of cute. She'll bite, she knows my hand. She'll bite anyone. They put their hand in there who's not me. Um, then this is this other hamster I got uh, a couple weeks ago. This is a boy. I'm going to, at the end of the summer, I'm going to breed Marshmallow one last time. And then, I'm either going to keep the boy, just to have, or I'm going to either adopt him out. But I know, either way, I'm going to keep a little girl. So, Marshmallow has a friend. Um, so, this is him real quick. This is just his, he just has a tongue down. He's, he's cute. He's, he's still really little. And he's pretty cute aggressive. He's gotten better, but if you stick your hand in his cage, he'll try to bite you. But if you put him on something first and then take him off, he won't bite you. But he's pretty, he's cute. It will be interesting to see what kind of baby, what color babies I have. So, that's him. No, cute guy. And then, these, there's my two chillas. Yeah, I don't know if you just saw her. And then I have a cage over here, a new cage. Yeah, I know you guys can't see it straight up because my camera's dumb. But this is my new cage, and this is my gonna be my sugar glider cage. I'm getting either one or two sugar gliders very soon. Hopefully this week. Um, I found this guy. He's selling one. He was selling two, but one here he already sold one, and he's selling this female one, and she's really tame. So hopefully I can get her. Um, he has her on hold for someone right now. Um. So I'm going to see if I can get her or not. But if I can't get her, then I'm going to try to find a pair. Because I know you have you have to keep them in pairs. So if I did get her, I would get her a friend. Um, somewhere. But this is my chinchilla cage. I just moved my room around because I wanted to have the two big cages next to each other. Because no, everywhere else it was just, there's nowhere to put that cage. So here's my chinchilla. You're so cute. Their names are Taz and Tiki. Oh, there's Tiki. She went down there. Hi, Tiki. Hi, Tiki. Hi, Hi, Tiki. And that's Taz, my bubby. That's my baby. Taz is my baby. He's a big baby. He's a big baby. He's a big baby. Hi, oh, baby. There's Taz. There's Tiki. Hey, Tiki. She's so funny. And then here is my sugar ladder cage. It's, it's really a bird cage, but um, people use it. So it's exactly the same height as my chinchilla cage, so that's good. And uh, it's not as tall, because it's not as, like, there's not as much space, because the end of this cage stops right here, and the end of this one stops right here. So, but that's fine. So basically, it has two doors, one here, and one here. And then, um, for the doors, you can actually, like, lock them. They are, they are really good locks, but, um, if you don't want anything, anyone to get in here, you can put a lock right here. So then no one can open this. Like, it'll just hit the little lock. Um, and then on the sides over here, there's two little doors to put, like, anything, like a kitchen or whatever. And then there's one on that side, too, right over there. So... I've already made a lot of stuff out of fleece for her because I just wanted to. I was going to buy a set, but then I found out how, to, out how to make it, and it's a lot easier. But basically, oh, other thing is this cage. It has a wire grid, um, and it pulls out. Um, if you don't want it, and then it's just a pan, and I'm just going to use um, puppy liners, puppy pads. Um, then down here, 
these two little bowls came with the cage and might use one for her dry pellet. I know for sure I'm not using it for her like veggies and stuff because it's way too messy. Um, here's her water bottle. I haven't put it on yet. And then here, this is all the extra fleece. Um, this is the fleece I got. Because she's a girl and I wanted to get her some girly things. Hopefully if I get a girl. Um, it's just has strawberries. It's really pretty. And this is down here because this is the exotic vet that I have for her. The treat sugar riders. Let me see if I can find it. They, they also use them for much angels. Not that they've been, they have never needed to go because they're really healthy. But I have it. Just in case. See, there are sugar riders. Right there. So. But basically what I made so far, um, these two, this wooden one and this wooden one came with the cage. But I have made four. One, two, three, four corner hammocks. They're just little ones in the corners that she can lay on. And then I've made two of these rope thingies that she can climb on. One, two. And then I made three pouches. This one. And inside of it are little blankies. Like this. Because I know they like them. I made one, two, and then this, three. And then, the last thing I made is this big hammock right down here. The whole length. It's the width of the cage. And it has little blankies on it. Um, and then over here, what I'm going to do for this whole width, is going to take up this whole width right um, here. And stop by the door. And I'm going to make, it's like, it's kind of like a, a really big hammock with this, but instead of having like the fleece all inside here, it has this netting, so it's kind of like a trampoline thing, I guess. And then I'm going to make her some other stuff, too. Um, and then I'm going to have her little kitchen down here, so she doesn't get all her stuff everywhere. Um, but yeah, basically that's it for now. Um, I will make an update when I actually get her, or if I don't get this one I'm talking about, I will make an update with whatever one I make. So yeah, that's an update of all my little animals. Um, so I'm just going to be having the sugar rider, chinchillas, and the hamsters because I decided to sell my, or adopt out my guinea pig and my bunny because summer is coming and the bunny and the was going to be a really big problem to for someone to take care of over summer because I'm going away for like five or six weeks over summer and someone was going to have to come in every single day for the bunny but for the hamsters and the chinchillas someone can only come in like twice a week because I can fill their food and water up I know you guys are probably thinking well then why in the heck did you get a sugar rider are you getting a sugar rider before summer because they have to have like their vegetables every single night but um the place I'm going is a beach and we my family actually owns a beach house so I'm going to buy I'm gonna take her with me. I'm gonna buy a um one of those little tiny cheap bird cages, like just the tiny ones to travel in and then when I get there I'm gonna buy her like a big cage like this just to keep there. So that so that'll be really easy. So yeah, that's not great. That's my little guy. Come here. I want you. I want you. I want you to come out. Come on. Yeah, there you go. So here's Taz. He loves to get on the bed. You want to get on the bed? You want to get on the bed? Yes. He's my buddy. He's my baby. Mm. Where are you going? Uh oh. Maybe she closed it. He's gonna come out. Why is he gonna come out? Yeah, so he's my baby. So that's not the general animals. So let me know if you want me to make a specific video on anything. Or if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.